the morning. Welcome to Thursday morning prayers. Um, sorry to those who are expecting Rachel this morning. She's on a much needed break with Graham. So just wish them all the best and give them peace, Lord, for their day, uh, their week together. Anyway, let's just take a moment to come into his presence, shall we? Just be still and quiet in our hearts and minds and open ourselves to God. Well, it's a sad day, isn't it, today? Russia have gone into Ukraine and we have war once more. But let's turn our eyes to God, shall we? Our hope, our only hope. So we're doing Fady Brennan again this morning and we'll be looking at Psalm 99. Yes, 99. Let's begin. Lord, open our lips to bless you, and our mouths shall declare your praise. Blessed are you, gracious God. We will give you glory and praise forever. This is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. <coughs> Excuse my singing, not as beautiful as Rachel's, I'm afraid. <clears throat> this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. Great is your faithfulness. <clears throat> the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will put my hope in him. Take a moment to put our hope in our God, our sure foundation, when all around us seems to be falling apart. Just have a time of quiet. When circumstances seem hopeless, we turn our eyes to God. <clears throat> Almighty God, in view of your great mercy, we lay our lives down as a morning sacrifice for you, choosing to die to self. We ask you to pour your mighty resurrection power through us, that Jesus may be revealed and your kingdom come in power, changing us and redeeming the world. Amen. <clears throat> so let's turn our eyes to God in Psalm 99.
The Lord reigns. Let the nations tremble. He set, sits on throne between the cherubim. Let the earth shake. Great is the Lord in Zion. He is exalted over all the nations. Let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. The king is mighty. He loves justice. You have established equity in Jacob. You have done what is just and right. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. He is holy. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel was among those who called on his name. They called on the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them from the pillar of cloud. They kept his statutes and the decrees he gave them. O Lord, our God, you answered them. You were to Israel a forgiving God. Though you punished their misdeeds, exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. For the Lord our God is holy. Well, this morning we think about the Lord reigning over all the nations. We might be tempted to ask where he is at the moment, but I'm sure he's there in the midst of that fighting and suffering. So in this psalm, the psalmist is showing us the glory of God. There are pictures of the tabernacle and the Holy of Holies, the cherubim. Moses and Aaron were the first priests. And Samuel, they called on his name and he answered them. He spoke to his people out of the pillar of fire. And they obeyed his commands. But when they turned to disobedience, he punished them. But when they were able to come in repentance, he was quick to forgive. Just as he is with us. When we get it wrong, when we come to him and say sorry, he is always quick to forgive. But he is a holy God. And we know his son bore our punishment that was due to us so that he could set us free. Let's turn to him in prayer. Lord Jesus, we cry out to you at the moment when we see nations fighting each other. We just pray for your peace to come, Lord your mercy over the nations. I pray that our leaders would come together and bring tough sanctions against Russia to bring this war to a conclusion quickly. Now we cry out for the people of Ukraine have mercy on the Lord. Just know, help them to know your presence with them at this time. Oh Jesus, may your love abound and men will put down their arms and turn to you, seeking your mercy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for other nations around the world that are in conflict. Man, I 
God forgive mankind for their greed, and their seeking and hunger for power. One day you know your peace will reign. But Lord, we want it now. There's so many people suffering. The innocents in all this, these wars, struggling with children, without homes, without food, without water, struggling because some men want more power. Have mercy on us, Lord. Forgive us. We pray for refugees around the world who are forced to leave their homes and their loved ones to seek a better life, to get away from war and famine and crisis. Lord, have mercy on them. Help them to find peace in their lives. And Lord, we are so grateful that we're in this nation have peace at this time. That we have homes that we don't have to run away from. We have a place to live. We have food on our tables. Thank you for your blessings, Lord. Help us to be grateful for what we have, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our brothers and sisters around the world, for those that face persecution, for their faith in you. Lord, we don't understand what they have to go through for their faith. They, we know that their eyes are on you, Lord. They see you and know you as their Lord. So much so that they're willing to sacrifice their lives for you. Just as the first Christians who were persecuted and suffered many atro atrocities for, for your name. They just kept their eyes on you and saw your glory, Lord. Just as the psalmist does. The glory of our God. How awesome you are. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation, Lord. We lift, our, lift our government to you and pray that they would come together over this crisis and agree sanctions that they can bring against Russia that might help to put an end to this war. But we pray, Lord, that they would be honest with their people. And we will see justice restored once more in this nation and truth over override untruth. Pray for our government to work together for the good of all people, bringing justice and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We 
and pray for our community here in Derby Green, Yately and Eversley. Lord, help us to see your glory in this place. Help the people of our communities to know you as their Lord and Saviour. Establish your kingdom here in this place. So that we would see people turn to you once more. People filling our churches, lifting your name in praise. For you are the God of hope, our only God, the glory of all the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we pray for all those we know that are sick at the moment, all those that are struggling with life. We just lift them to you in this time of quiet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let's come together in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as, is, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. O High King of Heaven, have mercy on our land. Revive your church. Send the Holy Spirit for the sake of the children. May your kingdom come to our nation. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Christ is a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me. Christ beside me on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Be in the heart of each to whom I speak, in the mouth of each who speaks unto me. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all-powerful. Christ as a light, Christ as a shield, Christ beside me, on my left and my right. We join together in the grace, let's bear in mind our brothers and sisters around the world who are struggling to find peace. For now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. My heart is struggling at the moment, but it's good to be with you. Hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. Love to you all. Bye.